from a spaceship um, and is going to talk. <laughs> uh, yes. We see your uh, screen. You see your slide? Yeah. Yes. It's okay. Okay. So I leave okay. you the words. Yeah. Okay. And thank you for introducing and <coughs> and thank you for inviting me such a very interesting uh, workshop. And this is Naoto Shiraishi from Gakushin University. Today, uh, I talk about uh, the bound on entropy production. Of course, uh, we know that uh, the second row is a well-known bound of entropy production, which claims the non-negativity of the entropy production. But in this talk, uh, we uh, consider some stronger bounds when the production. My talk uh, is uh, based on uh, these two papers. So if you're interested in, uh, please see these papers. This is the outline of my talk. First, I'll explain the motivation of my talk. In this talk, uh, we consider systems uh, attached to heat baths. In this situation, the entropy production is defined as the entropy increase of the system and that of the bases. And the second row claims that uh, this entropy production is non-negative. And uh, in, <coughs> this uh, inequality becomes equality if uh, the process is quasi-static. However, uh, <coughs> various interesting processes are not quasi-static. One example is the finite speed process. If uh, the process is quick, then we expect that this process accompanies much entry production. Second uh, example is the relaxation process. Relaxation process uh, is strictly irreversible. So uh, in relaxation process, uh, entry production uh, should be uh, strictly positive. So uh, if we restrict our attention to uh, these uh, classes of uh, processes, um, <coughs> we expect that uh, there must exist uh, some uh, good, better bound on the production, which is stronger than the second row. However, unfortunately, at present, we uh, do not have a better general bound on the production, even if we restrict our attention to such uh, processes. To overcome uh, this insufficiency, in this talk, we derive two uh, <coughs> kinds of uh, bound on entropy production, uh, which, uh, <coughs> is, which is satisfied in these uh, two classes of processes. Now, uh, we briefly review uh, the framework of stochastic thermodynamics. In stochastic thermodynamics, we consider a system which evolves stochastically due to the thermal noise. A prominent example is a colloidal particle which showed Brownian motion. Throughout this talk, uh, we consider a system uh, which is attached to a heat bath, and this heat bath is always in equilibrium. So uh, we can describe the dynamics of the system in terms of the stochastic Markov process. And throughout this talk, we consider a classical system. Then, in this setup, uh, the state of the system is characterized by the probability distribution P on microscopic states. For example, in this uh, <coughs> case, uh, in this state space, three uh, microscopic states, W1, W2, and W3, exist. And the state of the system is given by the probability distribution on these three states. The time evolution of the probability distribution it's given by the master equation as this. Here, and the R is a transition matrix, which uh, <coughs> satisfies the normalization condition as this. And on uh, <coughs> a transition matrix, in transition matrix, only the diagonal elements are negative, and other off-diagonal elements are non-negative. Using uh, the terms of stochastic processes, entropy production rate can be written as this. Here, the first term is entropy increase of the bath, and the second term is Shannon entropy increase of the system. And by assuming the detailed advanced condition, we find this expression of entropy production rate. 
Here, uh, the detailed balance condition claims that if the system is in equilibrium, then uh, there is no microscopic uh, current between any pair of macroscopic states. Now, uh, we move to our first part, finite speed processes. As we, uh, uh, as we mentioned, we expect that if the process is quick, then this process should accompany much into production. And this expectation uh, is proved for all bottom transmission systems. In all bottom transmission systems, uh, these authors uh, prove that uh, <coughs> entropy, if the process is quick, then this system accompany uh, much entropy production. They, they derive some uh, lower bounds of entropy production, which depends on the speed of the process. This uh, result is very beautiful, but uh, this result is uh, only for a very specific system, over the transition system. So we uh, want to a more general systems. Unfortunately, we indeed have such kind of uh, processes. This is a kind of classical speed limit inequality. Uh, <coughs> if the system satisfies the detailed balance condition, we find the lower bound on into production, which is characterized by the speed of the process. Here, uh, this, uh, this is a main result of the first part. Here, PI is the initial, say, initial distribution, and PF is the final distribution. L is the total version distance, which uh, quantified how far uh, these uh, two probability distributions are. If uh, two probability two distributions are very different, then L takes a very large value. And tau is the length of time of the process. So if the process is quick, tau is small. And bracket L is the average dynamical activity. Uh, dynamical activity as the definition in this, uh, it count uh, dynamical activity uh, counts as the number of uh, total jumps. So the dynamical activity uh, quantified how frequently jumps occur, microscopic jumps occur in the system. So uh, activity uh, characterizes a kind of time scale of dynamics. Let's uh, see an example. Uh, in a one-dimensional one-particle system. In case of current, if the particle moves right and we count plus one, then uh, if the particle moves left, then we count minus one. In contrast, in case of activity, in both jump to right and to left, we count plus one. The dynamical activity appears in various research fields from grassy dynamics to non-equilibrium steady state. So dynamical activity is a well-established physical quantity. Okay. Uh, to derive our main results, we first uh, introduce inequality for entropy production rate. We start from this very simple mathematical inequality. You can easily prove this inequality, so we skip this proof. Using this mathematical inequality, we uh, derive the lower bound on entropy production uh, with detailed balance. The first uh, two lines uh, are uh, the definition of uh, entropy production rate. And using this mathematical inequality, we find uh, this uh, inequality in the third line. Now, we move to the derivation of my uh, result. First, uh, we consider the sum of the absolute value or the time derivative of the uh, probability distribution. We first apply uh, the mass equation. And then we apply the Schwartz inequality here. And we apply Schwartz inequality again. We uh, obtain this inequality. And you can see that and this is a lower bound of the end of production. So we find this inequality. Finally, we integrate this uh, with time and apply short inequality again. We obtain the desired result, the classical speed limit, or a uh, row band of end production with speed of uh, process. Here I remarks on the, some extension of the, our result 
to uh, system without detailed balance condition. In a system uh, with detailed balance condition, we find this uh, lower bounds. And if the system doesn't satisfy the detailed balance condition, we find uh, this inequality. So uh, instead of the end of production, the Hata no Sasa end of production is bounded below by the speed of the process. Here, um, Sigma HS is a Hata no Sasa end of production, uh, which is a uh, <coughs> kind of generalization of the end of production. In the definition of Hatan Sasa end of production, the heat is replaced by excess heat. This is defined by using the ratio of the stationary distribution. So uh, we find that uh, <coughs> the speed uh, it char uh, characterizes uh, amount of Hatan Sasa end of production part. Okay. Now we move to our second part, relaxation processes. We uh, consider relaxation process. So uh, the transition rate is fixed. And we suppose the system is attached to a single heat bath. And we assume that the system satisfies the detailed balance condition. We uh, first set an uh, initial distribution at a no equilibrium state. And then we leave the system. After uh, t equals 0, the state evolves uh, to, from no equilibrium to equilibrium, and after uh, infinite time, the state uh, goes to the equilibrium distribution. And we focus on the middle of the relaxation path, from t equals 0 to t equals tau. <coughs> and we, uh, <coughs> we focus on the end of production, in this middle of the relaxation path, from t equals zero to t equals tau, this entropy production must uh, be strictly positive, and we want to have a lower bound on this entropy production. To derive the lower bound, we here introduce Kolbe-Kleiber divergence or relative entropy. Kolbe-Kleiber divergence or Kerr divergence is defined as this. Kerr divergence is the should distance between two property distributions, P and P, P, P prime. If um, two distributions, P and P prime, that cross, then K divergence takes a small value. And if these two distributions are very different, then K divergence takes very large value. And using this, we find the novel lower bound on entropy production in the relaxation process. Here, right-hand side is the and a kind of distance between the initial distribution and final distribution. So if an initial distribution and final distribution are very different, then <coughs> there must exist much entropy production if the process is relaxation. This is uh, the, our main result in the second part. Here uh, we summarize some significance of this result. It is obvious that this inequality is satisfied only in the relaxation process not in general process. And <clears throat> interestingly, the equality in this inequality is uh, satisfied for both tau equal zero, which is trivial one, and tau equal infinity, which is a highly non-trivial bound. <clears throat> we here uh, first demonstrate uh, <clears throat> the validity of our inequality in a simple three-state model. This three-state model shows very anomalous relaxation. We here plot uh, the end of production and k divergence. Uh, the horizontal axis is the time, and the vertical axis is the uh, total end of production and k divergence. Uh, the orange curve is end of production. Uh, black dashed line is the k divergence. Because uh, this uh, model shows highly anomalous recusation, uh, this end of production uh, shows very anomalous curve. But, <coughs> and and uh, in at the middle of the relaxation path, uh, there exists a non-trivial equality condition. However, uh, even in such an anomalous process, our inequality is satisfied at all times. <coughs> we here uh, then, uh, present uh, some information geometrical, geometrical understanding of uh, my inequality. In the relaxation process, 
entropy production can be written uh, by the difference of two k divergence. So uh, our inequality can be understood as a relation of three k divergence as this. Here, uh, in information geometry, k divergence corresponds to the square of distance. So uh, our result uh, can be understood as this. We uh, pro uh, pro <coughs> we write the state space and write the relaxation curve. And we put three states, P0, P tau, and P equilibrium. And we connect these three uh, points. Then our result claims that this angle should be larger than the right angle. So this angle should obtuse. This is the information geometrical meaning of uh, our inequality. We further investigate the information geometrical meaning. We again write the state space. Then, uh, <coughs> and we put the P0 initial state and P equilibrium, final state, uh, I'm sorry, equilibrium uh, at the time T equal infinity. Then the second row claims that uh, <coughs> the relaxation path uh, from P0 to P equilibrium should be, in, should settle inside this large circle. So uh, under only the second row, this relaxation path may occur, this path may occur, and this path also uh, possible, it is also possible. The second row uh, does not exclude uh, all these paths. In contrast, our uh, novel inequality claims that the relaxation path should be uh, in this very, in, in this very small circle. So, this uh, relaxation path may occur, but both of th this uh, path and this path is prohibited, not by the second row, but by the our novel inequality. <coughs> to derive our inequality, uh, we, uh, you, we show a novel expression of the entropy production rate, a version expression. This is a well-known form of the entropy production rate, but we find that the entropy production rate also satisfies this variation expression. Here, Q minus T is uh, a dis uh, distribution which evolves backward in time uh, under the same transition matrix as P. And this uh, expression of entropy production rate is satisfied not uh, only in the relaxation process, but in any uh, Markovian process. So this result is very general, not restricted to a uh, relaxation process. And the um, schematic uh, meaning of the, <coughs> this variation expression is this. We here uh, write a state space and two relaxation passes. The probability distribution P evolves uh, forward in time and Q evolves backward in time. And the green line uh, represents the case divergence. And the, this variation expression claims that the difference uh, between the solid line and dashed line is maximized when Q is at the equilibrium distribution, P equilibrium. This is the intuitive meaning of uh, <coughs> this variation expression. Uh, if uh, this variation expression is satisfied, then we can easily find the bound or interproduction in the relaxation process. We set as uh, P tau at Q0, and we integrate this variation expression from uh, T equals zero to T equal tau half. Then uh, we find this inequality. But at T equal tau half, both of P and Q take the same probability distribution. So um, the right-hand side is equal to the K divergence uh, between P0 and P tau. So, uh, using the non-negativity of entropy production, we find the desired result. So, the remaining task is to prove the variation expression, which is equivalent to uh, this inequality. And the right-hand side can be written as this. So, we proved, we shall prove uh, this is non-negative. Okay, we show this. Naoto, you First, uh, have two minutes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, first uh, we use uh, the mass equation and we then uh, use uh, the normalization condition of uh, transition matrix. And we 
uh, in second term, we divide and multiply the same uh, value. These are the technical transformation. Then you can easily see that all three terms have a term RIJPJ. So we tie this return. We finally use uh, the very simple mathematical inequality x minus 1 minus rho x is um, non negative. Then we find uh, <coughs> that the first line is non negative. This uh, succeeded to prove the Bayesian expression. Okay, now we summarize the talk. In the first part, we derive the lower bound on the production in finite speed process. This bound shows that if the process is quick, then this process accompanies much enter production. In the second part, we derive the bound of enter production in relaxation processes. This bound claims that in relaxation processes, the distance between the initial and the final distribution. <coughs> bound and end of production. Okay, thank you for listening.